A political dispute between Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and the supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, has led to the arrest of several allies of the president. Dorsa Jabari is in Tehran with more. It's a quiet day on the streets of Tehran, as it's a public holiday on Saturday in the country. But these streets do not reflect the very serious and growing rift between the president and the supreme leader. According to a member of parliament, Morteza Agha Tehrani, Ahmadinejad has asked the Supreme Leader if he can resign, as he can't work with the current intelligence minister. The Supreme Leader allegedly has told him, yes, you can. Now the president is taking the next few days to decide what he'll do next. On Thursday, the Revolutionary Guards, who seldom do anything without the, uh, the Supreme Leader's authority, arrested up to 25 people, many of whom are close to the president and his chief of staff, Esfandiar Rahim Meshai. They are allegedly being charged with being magicians and also invoking jinn or evil. Now, the president's problems began on April 17th when he asked the intelligence minister, Haydar Muslahi, to hand in his resignation so he could replace him. The supreme leader did not accept the resignation and reinstated Muslahi. Then the fight went public. The president stopped going to work and apparently refused the supreme leader's wishes. In Iran, Defying the ultimate authority is equivalent to defying God. And on Sunday, the president went back to work after a 10-day absence, but the feud isn't over. Ahmadinejad's unprecedented defiance has prompted harsh criticism from his one-time allies, the conservatives, and also his critics, the ultra-conservatives, many of whom warn him of the, that he could face the same fate as the country's post-revolution first president, Abdul Hassan Banisad, who was impeached and then exiled for allegedly uh, defying the clerical power. Now, the question is, why is Ahmadinejad, who kissed the Supreme Leader's hands on the day of his first inauguration, biting the very hand that ensured his re-election in June of 2009? Iranians will now have to wait and see until Sunday if their president will remain in office.